Hello Taurus, thank you for tuning in to your general read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Modern Spellcaster's Tarot by Melanie Marquis, illustrated by Scott Murphy. For the supportive oracle card, I have the Angel Answers Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. Already shuffled, let's go ahead. Stop. Well, one more. I don't know if that should be that face down or face up, but let's see. All right, you have an overall energy. I do feel like that's a big part here. It's the Eight of Pentacles, which is great for Taurus. Um, this is something where you've been working on something. You're almost at that part where you're ready to make it happen. It's work. It's work that's been going to plan for the most part. Good, good. Now, there's this card here that's... All right. The situation here, as you're going into it, you have the Hierophant with the Four of Swords. I'm getting like there's a little bit of um, resistance here. And I'm getting it from the other side. You have the King of Cups on the other side. Very powerful, very affectionate, um, very dedicated, very loyal. I'm getting loyal. The emotions are very very strong here but there's a problem and it, it, it's kind of making you kind of stop in your tracks for a second because you're ready you're almost ready to finish this off like this is this whole period is about like you're almost ready to like make it happen and the other side seems to be kind of like not happy and pushing back a little bit and that's the hierophant with the four of swords like i feel like the hierophant is first like the problem coming forward like i feel like they're supporting you but they're saying there's something here they don't like and they're kind of giving a little bit of pushback and it's kind of making you slow down and stop for a second because you're like oh, okay what do i need to do um what do i need to do to solve this problem and i'm getting this is like um face down because this just kind of pops out of nowhere it seems like you don't expect this problem to happen but you do find a way to peace peacefully resolve it you do do that now I'm getting the the way you resolve this is you're kind of appeasing the king of water here, uh, the king of cups, if you will. Um, I'm getting like the the king of cups, like there's they usually have an emotional attachment to something, and it's like one of those things where still waters run deep, even though you're almost at that part where you're ready to get this to go forward and you're comfortable with it. The king doesn't seem like he's ready. And he just kind of doesn't want to get off his throne and move on to a different throne, for one. I feel like that's what the situation is. Um, now, you've done something to appease this situation with the king. And I feel like you're kind of looking at it like, this is what we'll do for now. And then when you're ready to let go of your old throne, for example, then we'll, we'll, we'll transition it. But we'll, we can bring that into the new situation. I can bring that along. It's going to be a pain in my butt, but I'll do that for you. <laughs> One of those things. Like, it's it's kind of like, I don't really want to do that, but you want me to do that, and I, it means a lot to you. I love you. All right, we'll do that. I can do that. I'll make it work. That's okay. Now, I don't think you realize how strong the king is holding on. Like They're using the king here for a reason. This person is holding on to a piece of this. They don't want to let go of part of the past situation. Like, you're ready to start anew. You're ready to get it going. Like, I, I shouldn't say start anew, but there's something you've been working on and you're ready to kick it out and get it going. Like, it's almost ready to happen. And this other side is holding on to something from the past. Which makes me say that this is what we need to go on to next. The Five of Swords with the, a year from now. It doesn't have to be a literal year, but they're going to try to hold... Like, for example, I'm using the... the the king with his throne he does not want to let go of the old throne and move on to the new one he wants to hold on to his old rickety throne he enjoys it he's comfortable in it he does not want to move on he's going to fight to keep that throne as long as he can and it's going to go on i'm getting this is more like 
I mean, it's a general read. It's hard to say. I'm not getting like it's a literal year, but it could be like six to eight months. Like this is gonna go a while. This is gonna drain on the situation. Like does not whatever you're allowing, however you're appeasing this. I feel like you need to know this. However, your this peaceful resolution, it's something you might want to get used to because it's gonna hold on for a while. The other side does not want to let go. It's just one of those emotional attachment things. They don't want to let go. Of to a part of the past and it's, it's like as long as he has his old throne for example he still has part of that control and holding on to that piece of the past he doesn't want to let slip into the past hope that makes sense now you have a lot of patience here so doesn't the other side so i feel like this is just becomes a normal way of life for the situation i feel like what we're dealing with from here on out once you do this appeasing moment I feel like hopefully this reading hits you at the right time. Do you realize that this is going to be the way of life for a while? Because it, it's, it's going to hold on like this for a while. The temperance card is just, again, letting you know it's going to kind of go on for a long while, along with these two cards at the bottom. I do see you on your side, though, trying to think of ways to slowly change the situation. Um... I feel like you're, you're doing things or you're trying to make the new situation more alluring to the King of Cups. You're trying to make that new throne look really nice and you're getting you're, make, you're taking extra effort. For example, I know it's an analogy, but I think you get my point. You're doing everything you can to like really entice the King. Like, come on over. Just try the new chair. Just try it. Just for a minute. Just try it. You know, the, the other one will still be there. Just like, you're just trying to like get them in this like... Here, just try sitting in the new chair. The other one will still be there. If you don't like it, you just go back to it. <laughs> it's not easy. I don't... They're like, they're resisting that. Like, I know that's an analogy, but they're resisting. They're just like, I don't want to try that one. I like my chair. I'm sitting in my chair. I hope this makes sense because I feel like this is very much a very strong analogy situation. They don't want to move. Um, it's going to go out. They're going to defend that chair for the long time here. It's going to hold on. I do get, though... After a long while, I do think you do win. Because the Queen of Cups here, with the yes, with the exclamation especially, like, it does go forward. It's almost like, I feel like that's when I'm using this, uh, the chair analogy. Because she's in that new chair now, she's sitting in the new chair, and she's happy about it, but she's not telling you that. Like, I feel like she... I feel like the king is now in the new chair and likes the new chair, but it's not going to tell you. It's not going to tell you he likes the new chair. Not at all. Uh, but I feel like it's it's funny because I feel like you're like, I know you like the new chair. I know you like it. <laughs> like, it's fine. You don't have to say it. I know you do. And it, it, things are fine at this point. I almost feel like it's comical because at this point, like, the transition has happened and you're just like, aha. Uh -huh. Like, it's, it, it's done. You don't have to say I was right. It's fine. I don't care. We've moved ahead. We're good. I know you're happy. I can see it. I can see how you're acting. I knew you were okay. You're good. So it's fine. You don't have to say it. But I feel like they're, they're trying to like play it off like, oh, it's okay. But they love it. I do feel that. It takes a long while to get there. Like this, like six to eight months at the very least, I'm just saying. Like you're just, I feel like the whole point of this again, whatever you're doing to appease the king of water, the king of cups, you're going to be stuck with that situation for a while. <laughs> so as long as you're okay with that, it's smooth sailing. That's all I'm saying. I don't think this has to be an issue. Um, because you're still going forward. Things are still moving forward. It's not... I don't feel like it's taking you off track. Um, but whatever you're doing to appease the King of Cups, as long as you're okay with it lingering on for a while, smooth sailing, you'll be fine. Because I feel like you're still going to work to move the King forward. It's just realizing it's going to take a long while. Once you're in that mindset, and you're okay. Smooth sailing, you're fine. Good? Good. All right. I think we're good. So I'm going to wrap that up there. Thank you for watching. Of course, if you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, james at gmail.com. James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.